Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rifiwe and today I'll be doing another gouache painting. I actually started this painting a few months ago but uh, I lacked motivation to finish it so I just left it there for a while and it's been hanging on my mind that I need to finish this. Uh, I feel, I don't want to say that school's been occupying me, well it was, but I just haven't been having any motivation to actually paint anything or draw anything, so I actually set art aside for a while, and I just started getting back into it, so yeah. So the difficult part of painting something you set aside for a while is actually knowing the right color or the right paint you used. So I was finding it difficult to choose the right colors for the blending. But yeah, I figured it out in the end. <laughs> and I just went for it. Um, actually with this painting, I was actually just freestyling. I really didn't know what exactly to do. Uh, of course, I had some inspiration, got some, a picture, actually, probably two or three pictures, uh, that I downloaded from Pinterest. So when I started with painting, uh... I really didn't know what kind of paint to use and I was googling and searching watching different videos which recommended different paintings to use like when you're starting and wash was one of them uh, honestly I feel wash is a little bit hard to use especially when it comes to like blending but I actually like it I got used to it because the first time it uh, was really difficult probably because it was my first time painting but I got used to it uh, one thing is to not do with gouache is to overpaint an area because <laughs> that will just ruin the paper so as you can see, I started off with a mixture of burnt sienna and platinum white and I started off light and then I got darker just for to highlight some areas. So funny thing, when I actually sketched this out, I was actually lazy to sketch the eyes i just didn't have the motivation to do that plus i didn't want something that's very 
structured in a way that it looks like a real face or a real person so I just added these extra details um, one thing about me is I tend to doubt myself sometimes when it comes to like uh, sketching eyes or sometimes sketching lips like it depends on the day <laughs> so sometimes it's hair I'm like oh my goodness you know and so that's how I end up deciding that you know what I'm just gonna make this weird and do something else <laughs> with it and just see how it turns out So in here I decided to combine red and blue to like make purple and um, this was to actually paint the clouds that I had actually done instead of um, instead of drawing the lower body because yep once again I was lazy to draw the lower body another thing is that this like i said this is supposed to be clouds and i tend to struggle to paint clouds it never turns out well no matter how many times i try it never turns out okay so i got frustrated at how it turned out so again i decided to freestyle with it see what's gonna happen just do what i can and yeah so i'm just freestyling there and i actually ended up like doing some pattern of some sort at the end uh because the clouds didn't turn out okay and the blending was just horrible Next, I painted the little flowers on top of the hair, which turned out beautifully, and I'm really proud of it. How the yellow and the vanadium just blended so perfectly, it's so beautiful and tropical, and just wow! <laughs> it is actually my favorite part of the painting.
here I was adding details to the cotton gauze wrapped around her eyes. And the hair, which actually wasn't bad, actually, um, considering how I always struggle with painting hair. The details were actually quite good, and the blending and just the hairlines turned out better than I thought. I always paint the background last with oil paint I know that you can like paint the background first and then let it dry but then with gouache uh, considering how often I've used it if I paint the background first and then I let it dry and then I come and paint on top it's uh, the background color is still gonna uh, show in a way that it like it just ruins the painting. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Bye.